Is television good or bad for him? I leave it on all day to keep him company. Do you think it bothers him? Well, that depends, really. Again, there's no hard and fast answer to this question. Um, some patients uh, find it soothing to watch television uh, because it's a habit. And so when they sit in front of the screen that shows them all these images, uh, they, they don't understand, they can't follow it. And in fact, they remember even less, but uh, they experience it as something that's calming to them. Um, there are other patients, on the other hand, and we don't know why they're so different from the first group, who think what they can see on the television is real. So then they get angry, they start to argue, and they find it very upsetting. So obviously in these cases, the television shouldn't be switched on. And it's probably even better to remove it from the room altogether. Is there anything else I should remove from the home because it might bother him apart from the television? Mirrors might make him anxious. Uh, that's an example I can think of. I don't know how your father responds when he looks in a mirror or walks past one. What happens there? Yes, in actual fact we have a large mirror at home and when he walks past it I think he looks annoyed, he mutters something. I don't know what he sees, but yes, perhaps it bothers him. What's probably happening is that when your father walks past the mirror and looks into it, he doesn't recognise himself in the image he sees. Um, so he sees an old person and he can't align that with his mental clock time. For a person with fairly serious dementia, uh, their mental clock time is never today. It's a time 20, 30, perhaps even 40 years ago. So his memory of himself is of a person 40 years old, not 80 as he is, which means that when he walks past a mirror and sees an old man of 80, he doesn't recognize that person as being himself. He thinks it's a stranger. And for the same reason, a lot of people with fairly serious dementia don't recognize their wives as their wives, they see them as their mothers because they're old women. So since the patient thinks he's 40 or 50 years old, when he sees somebody of 80, he doesn't think she's his wife, he thinks she's his mother because his mind is set on a time period a few decades previous.